hi beautiful people welcome back again to another video if you are new to my channel welcome if you are a returning subscriber thank you for tuning in thank you for coming back okay so in this video i want to talk about how we survived last year in ghana because i have got like 10 people telling me congratulations you no longer live in nigeria thank god for you you know did this country again this one do you this your own better you know no 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 i have 10 good people in just two weeks telling me how privileged i am for living in ghana this is from my own darling country god bless nigeria people from there telling me this so i said let me bring it out here so that Mm -hmm. because it's beginning to look like ghana is canada in some people's eye or is it that i'm living like that am i am i giving is it giving is it giving or what please those of us living in ghana are we misinforming people let us talk about this let's have this conversation especially if you live in ghana and if you were in ghana last year i mean 2022 if you're a ghanaian or not if you live in ghana since 2002 please we need you down there at the comment section we need you guys to tell us how you guys survived ghana last year and now we are all looking soft like we have it all going on for us hey for me i'm going to share my coping mechanism of 2002 in ghana because that happened to be like yeah my first year of moving here so please feel free to share your own testimony down there because the way my people back home are acting my friends and family are making it look like we don't have any struggle in Ghana. Yeah, after all, no matter how bad you go chop. There was a day one of my very close person called from Nigeria. I was like, babe, he had like even to chop today, nothing they happen. Like, you know that time, I don't know if it do happen to you, it do happen to me. It do happen to me where I'll be so broke that even to eat, I will not have food to eat. Maybe I have raw food, but I can't there's nothing to cook it with so i don't know if you have been in that situation before so that friend of mine was in that situation and she was like anything at all just try she like she went straight to drop her account number and said and i said hey now wow go go help us so she said my dear you went they gonna it better no matter how hard it is you will eat it's not like us here as he had now nah, i can't i can't even cook and the kids are crying and i was like you say waiting so i told her babe what do you think about ghana it's, it's like a lot of people are a lot of people are starting to think ghana is canada or ghana is um the us or ghana is uh where 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 please when i'm saying this i'm going to explain why i'm comparing ghana to these countries okay because for her to tell me you know it's like i should be saying that to someone that stays in your own country i am a foreigner in a foreign country so it bothers me but where will i go get it to call it she made it look like the government of ghana shares free they, they share free stuff for people living here when i came to ghana in 2002 dollar was at because i remember getting to ghana in 2022 with a $50 bill and I was happy I was feeling on top of the world and I went to change that money and I got it at 580 cities was what was given to me so when I came to Ghana in 2022 in dollar was just 5.8 pesos per dollars do you understand I mean it's I mean five CD 80 pesos per dollar so we're just trying to adjust and enjoy life and just dig it the way it is dollar went to seven cities before it's okay yeah seven cities not that bad okay let's just manage it after all in nigeria is also 750 or 700 we were still on that when dollar jumped it jumped like to nine cities per dollar and we're like okay everybody buckle up man it's about to go down so we were still on it we were still there the following day like this thing is happening like every minute the next two days dollar hits 15 ghana cities per dollar 
and everywhere i could see fear in the eyes in the eyes of every adult around me every responsible adult as an adult you have no choice to but to be responsible so i'll just leave it at you can see fear in the eyes of every adult including me i remember someone telling me hey lily you are not affected now because no matter how little your incomes are they comes in dollars so because of that i'm like hey it's not as you think if i have lots of maybe if i have if i'm able to earn a hundred us dollar a month and i change it to 1500 cities uh -huh, and then i go to the market I can't buy anything. What does that profit me? And even if I'm able to buy, what about my neighbors? What about other people? What about the common man? What about everybody? It comes back to haunt everybody. So I told him, no, please. I wish dollar go back to where it used to be, like 500 city. I mean, dollar, um, dollar go back to five city or even below. I don't mind having little money, but quality life so how did we survive the bottom line here is last year a lot of content creators that you know have whatever personal issues they have against ghana like at gym maxi i know they fear anybody i you know people like at gym maxi were you know making videos publicly laughing at ghana laughing at me me like this especially Aji was laughing at me that hey i'm going to run back to nigeria the inflation rate in ghana will chase me back he said all sort of things and people were laughing people were rejoicing over that and then i knew one thing for sure about africa is there is no african country i, I won't be talking about south africa because i barely know nothing about them there is no west african country that I can say, okay, let me go to sleep with one eye. I mean, go to sleep with like a baby because when you wake up, the economy is stable. Mm -mm, none. Is it Ghana, Nigeria? I don't know about the Francophones countries, but I knew that the struggle that is hitting Ghana in 2002 may hit my country too, but I don't know. I didn't know when, and it wasn't a prayer I was making, but I just knew that it could happen and this year it has happened and a lot of people are just you know surviving reaching out hey it has had oh you know so i said okay let me bring it i said okay let me bring it here if you guys have uh, you are kind enough to share your coping mechanism when dollars was so high against cities in 2002 please let us know at least now it's not like dollar have really gone back to where some of us wish it to be but it has gone down to at least somewhere around between 11 cities to 10 city to 11 city 10 cities to 11 cities which we are gradually adjusting to we have at this point i'll proudly say we have adjusted to it mm, we have seen it all and finally we have accepted that yes and we are finally settled at that place where we say, okay, yeah, fine. Dollar is now 11 cities. But we are sure that uh, it won't go past 12 cities. Unlike that time where it went on to, to, it went up to 15 cities. So right now, Nigeria is in that place where you wake up, the uncertainty on hair, the uncertainty is just so much. You wake up today, dollar is gone past 1,000 Naira. Oh my goodness. And that is not all. Low. In recent times, like a week ago, cities went so high against Naira. It became like something that people, in fact, a lot of people were calling. For me already, I told people, everybody that know me knows that I don't have money to send to Nigeria. The little money I make here, I use it to feed my children. I use it to pay bill here. I don't have money to save. I don't have money to send to Nigeria. People were telling me, if you have money, this is the best time. Send it to Nigeria. I said, I don't have money to send to Nigeria. So whatever I make here, I chop them here. And I'm not complaining. At least I'm alive. There is hope for the living. One day, I will have a lot. Maybe I want to send to Nigeria. Okay? So I was telling them. So if, how did you survive in 2022? Please let us know down there at the comment section. Because we all survived. And now we are all looking incredible 
in the eyes of the world, in the eyes of the rest of our brethren. So how did you guys survive? For me, last year, I survived, like, I was just going on. I remember I had to send my sister's twins back to Nigeria when they were just a month old. Like, I had to wrap them. I used so many wrappers to wrap my sister's twins, and I asked my sister, let's go. We have to go to Nigeria because it's, it's getting out of hand. And then I reduced the load on me. So this is my own coping mechanism of last year. I reduced, so I took my sister and the twins back to Nigeria. And then I came back and I said, okay, it's time to buckle up. And I buckled up and we are here. Hallelujah. We didn't die. So if you are in Nigeria, buckle up, okay? Buckle up. Anywhere you live. Because the kind of complaint I'm seeing now on the internet, it's like it's so, so scary that, you know, for people who are wishing to move abroad, it's becoming like maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should just be here. Because nowhere in the world right now where people are saying, oh, this is our country, we are having it going good. Everywhere in the world, people are complaining. Imagine countries like Canada. I watch a lot of YouTube videos of people living in the UK, people living in Canada, especially Canada in the UK, and the UK, Canada and the UK. So many people are complaining. So many people are complaining. So wherever you are right now, be comfortable. For those who said that, I have people that said this, they, they already said in January, I like it or not, they are coming to Ghana. And if they get here, I don't want to talk to them. I'm, it's okay. They said they must come to Ghana. They must leave Nigeria. They had enough. Enough is enough. They want to come. Me, I'm not here to discourage anybody from coming. But if you are moving to Ghana, just be prepared. In Ghana, yeah, the fun is, yeah, the life. See, if you want to enjoy life, Basta basta. You want to enjoy life like say you did heaven. No Allah come to Ghana but bring your money. Those who are insisting on moving to Ghana, it's okay, all the best. But just know that it's not as rosy as as it looks from the other side. You know, sometimes greens when you stand at a place you overlook, especially when you are on a valley, you overlook the other side, you see that the grasses there are greenish. But when you go closer, you realize maybe they are, yours is even greener or, or, or they are the same. So for those who are moving to Ghana, especially from Nigeria, I want you to think well. Okay? Think about it. Think about it. Don't let the internet fool you. Maybe some of us on the internet, we have made life look so easy in Ghana. Don't let us deceive you. Though it's not that bad. Eh? For some of us, I wouldn't say it's terrible for me in Ghana. No, it's not. I can't lie. But it's not us. It's not that easy as I may have made it seem on the internet. So when you're coming, be prepared. It's expensive to live in Ghana. No matter how expensive Nigeria is, Ghana is definitely still going to be expensive for Nigerians. And then for a house, let me use this opportunity to talk about the rent so that you will know. Rent a one room apartment like my own right now that cities is higher against naira this place where i'm living now if you want to rent it right now it costs you almost nine hundred thousand naira. thank you very much nine hundred thousand naira. right so that is the cost for a house so be prepared if you are alone and you want to stay in a, a single room apartment where you have your bathroom you have your kitchen to make life comfortable yeah you should prepare like somewhere around 500 to 600 thousand era that is about six hundred dollars to seven hundred dollars six to seven hundred dollars will help you get a house a single room apartment no living room just the room like what we call bed sitter back home in my country uh what again for food for food i cannot tell you how much you need because it depends on you the type that is selective of what you eat you want the best you like it top notch which is not a bad idea but it may be expensive so i can't tell you how much you need for food as for transportation if you are someone like me I do a lot of, I do like almost all the time. You see me jumping the bus ahead to save costs. So transportation, I can't tell. If you are the type that I want to be comfortable, they have Uber here, they have um, boat. 
they have Yango, they have a lot of them here in town. Uh, they have the public taxes as well. So if you are that type, you are free to come, but hold your money because it's definitely going to, you're going to spend more than someone that jumped the bus to get it. So if you want to come to Ghana, Aquaba, okay, all right, I'm saying this ahead of 2024 in case I'm unable to make a video in that regard, okay? And I hope that I'll see you in my next video. Um, mind you, the price for the house I'm talking about, I'm not talking about Accra, I'm talking about places out scared of Accra. If you are familiar with Abuja, let me give you instance. Place like uh, Maraba, Maraba, Kabusa, the all those in a in a poor village them <laughs> if this is what i'm talking about so i live in places like that here in, in ghana i don't live in the heart of accra hey, it's going to cost you more than that if you are to pay like i'm paying 900k or eight to nine hundred thousand euro in this place if i'm there i, will, I should be paying one point something million for just one year for a house i hope you everything's soft i hope that this video will be too well and i hope that it's helpful i'll see you in my next one bye